This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and I know a lot of you are asking yourself, how does the First Order fare in the heroic rancor? And and I get it, it's, it's a question that many people are asking. Now I know that the rancor is, is like the most simmable thing in the game. But still, even, like, people are just like, should, should I invest in uh, General Hux and this new Sith Trooper? I mean, yes, they look cool. Yes, they, they do some pretty awesome stuff. But, I don't know, I, it's, a, it's a valid question to ask. And so what I did is I, I, I'm looking at uh, my dev build, or we're looking currently at my dev build, and, and what you're seeing is First Order team going up against THE, that's right, THE Heroic Rancor. Now, for the team, what you see is you see a General Hux lead, you see both Kylo Ren's, you see the new Sith Trooper, and of course you've got to have Fox, First Order Executioner. I like him as Foe. I like calling him Foe, but like Fox is the name that the community settled on. So, who am I to upset the apple cart? Now, I I have been looking at this. I've been thinking about this. Now, I've tested him out a couple of different times. I've used this first order team in a number of different areas, and I really, really enjoy seeing the viability. Now. Again, as I've said when I talked about the First Order Sith Trooper whatever, there's something about his kit that I feel is still untapped. I feel like we're going to get more, um, and that more probably won't come until after Episode 9 is, is launched. But the whole, like, the more First Order people that die, the stronger he gets. Or the f more First Order or Sith people that die, the stronger he gets. So I have got this feeling that there we're getting a palp, you know, a palp that that kind of resurrects, that comes back. I know that Darth Sion kind of plays that role to some extent, but I don't think he's viable enough. Although I do think that there might be some synergy there with Darth Sion and this Sith trooper because he's he's but they're both really good, and and the more that he dies, now again I was kind of hoping that that would be more a more of a general ability like it wasn't just specific to first order or sith but yes his kit does read that this is a general ability that this is something that or this is a specific to sith and first order now maybe we get a new phasma who has a death and then comes back and then dies and comes back because let's face it if phasma comes back in episode 9 that is a resurrecting character i don't know how she could have survived that but she also survived getting thrown down a trash compactor. She died again. I, I don't know. She's a survivor. It's very possible that Phasma comes back. Now, we haven't seen the, the bounty hunter's face that's being played. Zori Bliss, right? That's being played by Carrie Russell. Maybe they pull a Scooby-Doo mask off of her. And all of a sudden, it's Captain Phasma. Very possible. Anything's happening. I, I don't know. But... I've tested this out in a few different places. So, if you are wondering if the First Order can, can you know, uh, sim on auto the, the Sith, the, the Rancor, with a General Armitage Hux and the Sith Trooper, the answer is an astounding yes. And, interesting enough, the Sith Trooper is the one that does most of the damage, not Fox. Now, I did try this without the Sith Trooper, so for those new players who hopefully this at least find this video a little entertaining yes uh this this is is feasible without hux without or without uh sith trooper now if you're not trying to do this on auto you can obviously sim with the first order on both uh with with kylo ren with phasma with without these original care these new characters so keep that in mind guys this was meant to be a short silly video hopefully hopefully you have enjoyed it um i i like these characters i'm going to be playing around with them more in the haat because i feel like there's some some power that goes on there but there's also some more stuff i'm going to be playing around with these also in the arena and i'm very curious to see how they how the first order now fares 
against the second phase of the Sith Triumvirate Raid. I, I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be another team that is going to be viable. I think this is going to be definitely an offensive team, not something that you're going to be wanting to put on defense really pretty much anywhere. Just a thought, just an initial uh, reaction to this. I hope you guys liked the video, and if you didn't, I hope you can at least appreciate sarcasm. And if not, I hope you are having a great day. Day. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at RealGoingNerdy. You can also visit me at GoingNerdy.com. Periodically I post articles and stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, please, please feel free to follow the links in the section below where I have an audible section. You get a free audiobook or two free audiobooks. If, and every time you sign up, you help the channel. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh, <laughs>